praying and just definitely looking forward to seeing those beautiful faces. We are learning more about a custody fight between a former hostage in the state over the future of her children. The woman you just heard from was found near death in a Gwinnett County hotel back in 2014. She now wants custody of several children. Channel 2's Tony Thomas is live in Gwinnett County with exclusive details of why the state says she's not fit. Tony. Aisha Sweeting went from unresponsive and weighing less than 60 pounds to a fully functioning adult in just a few months. Now she wants custody of her one living child and the two she helped raise in this hotel while being held captive. But the state says she should have done more to protect the children and call her unfit. I've literally come back from the grave and made a huge comeback. Former hostage and starvation victim Aisha Sweeting says now that she's recovered, she's ready to parent her four-year-old daughter and two others she cared for while being held captive. I'm praying and just definitely looking forward to seeing those beautiful faces, spending time with them. Police rescued Sweeting and the children from this Gwinnett County Hotel in 2014. One of Sweeting's babies had already died. Investigators say this man, Calvin McIntosh, and his daughter, Najla, are members of a cult that began holding Sweeting and starving her as punishment. The living children are currently in foster care. The department proceeded, um, intends to proceed towards non-reunification of the children. Welfare workers say Sweeting isn't fit to be a parent. In this juvenile court hearing I attended on Thursday, DFAC's officials implied Sweeting isn't entirely a victim and should have done more to protect the children. So you do not know um, what abuse or neglect your daughter suffered while you were not in a state to protect her? No, I do not. We have time and we have patience. Listen, Tony, I've been waiting for four years and eight months. So yeah. trust me, I have the patience. DFAC's lawyers will lay out their entire case to a juvenile court judge in a few weeks. Live in Gwinnett County, Tony Thomas, Channel 2 Action News.